Hello, movie people, and welcome back to another, a very special episode of My Little Pony Episode Reviews. This is my Christmas special. Now, since the holidays are coming up and I'm about to get up um, for school for Christmas break, I might as well um, get out a My Little Pony Episode Review um, to you guys. But before I do that, I need to tell you guys a really exciting announcement that's going to be coming up next year, and you guys will be getting a vlog for this. I am going... To Comic Con. Yes, it's amazing. Oh, <laughs> what is that? What is that? I mean, remember that? It's just like, ugh. Dead. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. So, remember that? I shouldn't go over there. Um, but yeah, I am going to Comic Con, guys. Um, it's really exciting. But I'm not trying to rub it in you guys' faces like, oh, I'm going to Comic Con. You yeah. Oh, you my viewers suck. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not doing any of that, I swear. Um,. It's just really exciting, and um, I'm going to meet t a ton of people, hopefully John Delancey, Lauren Faust, will, and Lauren Faust will be there, they'll have a panel and everything, I, it's just going to be amazing. But yeah, let's get into the episode review. Today we are going to be reviewing, um, since this is a Christmas special, why don't we review Hearth Swarming Eve. Now, um, I do have um, a lot, some um, major, like problems with this, but hey, let's get into it. So, yeah, my overall thoughts, it was an okay Christmas special. Um, it, I would give it a 9 out of 10, but it's a pretty good episode, actually. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, so I really like the way that, um, um, whenever, uh, they were riding the train, um, Everyone was just, everyone was just like, oh, I can't wait to go to this house and pay and gas. And then, like, r whenever Rarity jumped out of the, um, window, she just like, oh, I hope I look festive enough. And she was wearing a gigantic tree hat, like, Christmas tree hat. And I was like, Rarity, you look festive enough, girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm not, you, you guys had to see this if you saw the episode. Um, whenever, uh, d the, um, performance was about to start, Derpy actually, um, put her head through the curtains. She was, like, waving to the audience, and then, like, whenever, um, like, she was doing that, another pony came in and was just like, Derpy, j just stop. And then Derpy was just like, aww. <laughs> um, I love that, I love that. Um, but the thing that I don't really like is that, um, the main six start arguing over an open window. An open window. That's saying, like, you're arguing over the last crumb of a brownie or something. Pinky, Pinkie Pie could relate. Couldn't it, Pinkie Pie? Oh, wait, I, I don't have a blush for... <laughs> um... But yeah, they start fighting over a window, and I don't know, I don't really find the, um, the, the way for that, but, um, I really do like the way the, um, episode is, like, brought onto us, um, it's sort of brought onto us, sort of like a, um, a play, and, um, and like, yeah, it's sort of brought onto us, sort of like a play, which I really like, because I am a thespian, um, I, d I do perform in plays, so this, um, really touched my heart whenever they, um, actually... We're performing it as a play. And I really do love the fact that the Pegasi, Earth Ponies, and the Unicorns, they were all divided up into these, like, certain colonies, sort of like the Pilgrims and the Indians. They were sort of like that. Um, this sort of reminded me of the founding of Thanksgiving more than the founding of, um, more than the founding of Ponyville, which is what they're trying to ex express in the episode. And I really do like the design of every pony. Um, like Rarity, she was, uh, like, um, a, the queen of the unicorns. Sadly, my OC is a unicorn, so, gotta follow with Rarity, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, also Rainbow, why did you call our magic a creepy? Us unicorns, we're not creepy, okay? If anyone's creepy, it's you pegasi. Alright? She picks it. Jeez. Rainbow. Gosh. Gosh, she's such a killjoy. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really did, um, like that, but I, the thing that I didn't get is, 
didn't Celestia and Luna, weren't they, didn't they, like, exist back then? Because they existed when Star Scroll was around, so that had to be, like, in the B.C. ages or something like that. Be but, um, one thing that I generally get is that the Pegasi, the, whenever they were, um, doing the play, I get that it's a play, but the Pegasi were the ones that controlled the, the height, the, the lower and the height of the sun, and, like, that didn't really, um, like, hit, strike chords with me, because, like, I get that unicorns have magic, but I don't think they would have the power to raise the sun and the moon like Princess Celestia and Princess Luna do. But yeah, I really do love the way that, um, there wasn't really any physical villain. There was just these things called Wendigos, and, um, everyone thought that it was the Earth, the Pegasi that were causing the, um, the weather, and it wasn't, it was those Wendigos. And, um, I really do like at the end of the episode, um, whenever they, like, um, I like, I think it was Pinky, Pinkie Pie, and, um, it, it was all three of the leaders who, um, who got frozen, and then, like, it was the three, um, like, second-in-commands of the leaders, because they all felt friendship to one another, I think it was Pinkie Pie, Applejack, and Twilight, um, who, like, actually felt, um, like, good with each other, and then, like, at the end, Applejack was like, whatever happens, we're all ponies, and that's, and that's all that matters. But, yeah, guys, that was pretty much my, um, episode review on Hearth Swarming Eve. Like I said, I will be bringing you guys a vlog of Comic-Con next year. It is July 21st to the 24th. Yes, I'm going to have to wait a long time. Um, but, yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to keep coming brony on, and... Have a happy hearth swimming eve, everypony. Bye.